So the main reason we do ultrasonic cleaning is to totally clean out the pots and the switches so that we could re-lube them and kind of start from scratch. For the pots, I'm using F100L by Deoxit. That will go into the bottom holes on each pot on the left and right. I find that those wick in a little bit better than the center one. For the switches, you cannot use deoxit, either F5 or D5. These are sort of notorious switches where they're already very brittle. If you put the wrong um, applicant or lubricator, it'll totally mess up the switch. So what I have found to work is it's by DuPont, it's called Molly Coat 111. And we can see it's got a wide temperature range, compatible with many plastics and elastomers. And they say clean contact surfaces, apply with a brush or spatula, do not mix with other greases. We're actually going to apply with a syringe to be more precise. And in terms of what this stuff is, it looks like it's mostly a type of silicone polymer. And they do say there's some silicone metalloid complex slash trade secret so they've got their own stuff in there um, here is the syringe and that's just got some of the molly coat 111 in there and on the switch that gets applied to the blue plastic shaft at the top the most important part it's kind of blocked by the mounting bracket, but there's these two holes here where you can squirt some down in there. Right underneath that is the plastic um, switch. And that's the part that either stops functioning or completely breaks. And so far, I don't think anybody's come up with, you know, a way to fix those even with 3D printing. So um, the last spot, is just a little bit at the back here, which really only helps those back two contacts. But once you have those three spots um, re-lubed, just sort of exercise the switch and then it should be good as new. Um, the ultrasonic cleaning does a really good job. So you can see how all of these pins are basically gold. I'm not sure if that's actually gold. I think it's more so just oxidation. And once these switches come out of the ultrasonic cleaner, they'll actually be like shiny right just like a shiny metal like on a lead but these are the wires that go all the way down through the switch and solder to the board so the ultrasonic is essentially cleaning that entire wire which is great because the main audio issue on these switches is those wires get gunked up and they start acting more like diodes and then you really only get the transients coming through instead of the whole signal so the whole reason we're doing this ultrasonic process is mainly to clean up all these switches without having to resolder them because they are sort of unobtainium. It's impossible to find this type of footprint. There's a few resellers that sell this exact switch that's new old stock, but they'll they'll get you for like twenty or thirty dollars a switch, which is just not a good deal for an entire console. Distilled water. Distilled vinegar. the minimum. This will take us right to the max. And then weekly alkaline PCB solution. Cleaning concentrate. So it wants 5 to 10 percent. And for those amounts of distilled water we add, we do about three cups. Mmm. 
Yeah. And this will be good for eight channels of cleaning. Looks like alcohol almost. Cool. Thank you.
Ew. Unloading this piss jug. It's a pretty good stream you got there, bub. Temperature of the water. Whatever it says on the front, 50 degrees C. As high as it'll go. So this is the dirt and grime from eight channels. And I didn't even do the little trim pots of those channels yet. I want to do a video where I, it's all clean and I just have like some small like the trim pots in there and some switches for one, maybe one channel to show how all the dirt that comes off of one channel when the pot's clean. This is getting really heavy and it's slipping through my hands. Make sure you get the bottom of the thing. Switches and pots. 